Hey there, I'm Jess Bud from Marketing O'Clock and welcome to this marketing tutorial. Today we are going to go through how to create a custom metric for performance reporting in Meta Ads Manager. So if you've played around at all in the ad reporting in the interface, it's pretty flexible. You can add all sorts of columns, report on anything you want, but it's gotta be a metric that exists, right? Sometimes you need a little bit more detail than that. So for example, one of the accounts that I manage has a conversion that is a application. And there's three outcomes for that application. Once you submit it, you can either be approved, declined, or be pending. And while we wanna report on each of those individually and we have them set up as custom conversions and can report on those, they also wanna see lumped together performance across all three. So all submitted applications regardless of status. So rather than me sitting here and adding three things up, for a total of applications and then doing the math to figure out what the cost per submitted application is, I can just set up a custom metric for that in my meta performance reporting and grab it like that. So let's see how we can do that. So once you are in your performance report, whether it's an existing one or a new one, you need to hit this customize button over here. And then this is where it'll pull up all of the um, breakdowns and metrics that you can add that are built into your report. But there's this little three dot menu here that you can say, I want to create a custom metric. And that's what we're doing today. So I clicked it. So a couple things you got to do here, you have to give it a name. So I am going to say submitted applications because that's what it is here. And then you can choose your format. So for this, it is just a total number of applications. So I'm going to choose numeric, but you also have options for a percentage or a currency as well. Um, description, if you wanted to give it one, that's fine. And then who can access this? I would like everyone with access to the business to be able to see this metric. Not really sure why you'd want to keep it private, but you do have that option. And so then we can go in here and you can see up at the top, you can basically create a formula, which is pretty cool. So we're going to go in here and select the metric that we are going to start with. So like I said, we have three different conversions. So we're going to start with the first one. So we pop that in there and then we're going to hit this nice little plus button because we're adding here, guys. And then I'm going to go for declines and one more plus because there's one more. We are going to add in the pending applications here. Ta-da! And if you wanted to get really advanced, you can see you can put things in parentheses. You've got all the different functions here. If you remember PEMDAS, this would be really helpful for you. But here we're just adding, so it doesn't matter what order things are in, so I'm just going loan status one plus loan status two plus loan status three and i want to get a sum there so there we have it with that custom metric and i am going to well i'm going to create and add another because i also want to get the cost right so i could show you how we could do something a little bit more advanced there and just do it all in one formula so i'm going to create and add another boom so now let's create a new one called cost per submitted if i could spell right application this one, again, let's make sure everyone in the business has access to it and the format should definitely be currency because we are saying cost per here. So let me try and remember my math. If I want to do the cost per something, I need to look at the total and then divide it by the total spent and then divide it by the number of actions, right? So that's how I'm going to start. I need to create the total spent here. I'm going to do it in parentheses like a little math guy. Amount spent, as Meta calls it. And then you can either do divided by, which I just hit on the keyboard, or you can go up here and select this, right? And then now I need to group together my applications. Do pending plus prequel plus spelling is important. Stay in school. All right, and close the parentheses. So now we're looking at the total amount spent divided by the number of applications that came in. And now I can come in here and I can add them to my table. So just to scroll through this massive thing that I have, you could see that I have the individual conversions here and they're all listed out and they're looking at um, the total spend and total cost per submission divided by or divided out by the different types. But I want to add in those custom metrics that I just made. So you can go into this customized table Go into your custom metrics. Look at this. If we hadn't made them yet, there's a little plus button here so we could create them right here. Um, but now I have these that I have access to. So it looks like it added them automatically, which is amazing. But say I wanted to remove them, I could just do so and uncheck the box. But of course, we want them there. 
So that's great. And then they should be over here at the end. I'm assuming it tosses them at the back of my report. Ta-da! How nice is that? You don't have to do manual math. You just have to come in here and edit your report once. So really handy, not just for conversions, but any kind of metrics that you might want to combine or play with that you need to report on often. Um, just make it easy on yourself. So that is how to create custom metrics within performance reporting and meta ads manager. So hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. If you did like, and subscribe to marketing clock channel, we have a weekly digital marketing news show. We talk about all things organic, paid, social, and otherwise. And then we also have more great tutorials like this.